Welcome to the signing of the Highway Workers Safety Act. I am Woody Willard. I am chairman of the SCDOT Commission. I have with me today Vice Chairman John Hardy and Commissioner Gene Branham. And we're glad to be here for this most significant piece of legislation, signing of this legislation. We're most pleased to have Governor Henry Master with us today to sign this, this piece of legislation. And Governor, welcome. About 3,000 workers each day go to work to preserve one of the most significant assets of this great state, our roads and our bridges. Without these assets, our state would not prosper or grow. The men and women of the SCDOT are there during times when most of us have taken cover from violent storms or from devastating floods. Their dedication to providing a safe and efficient highway system to all the citizens of South Carolina is one that we do not recognize enough. We're here today in Aiken to celebrate the signing of this act, but also we remember with great sorrow the two lives that were recently lost because someone did not respect, did not have enough respect to slow down and to let them work and let them live. It is the commission's hope that this act will improve the awareness of all citizens to respect and protect those whose mission is to keep us safe. And now it is my honor to bring forward your leader, one who has been in your shoes and walked in your walk, one who is leading Team SCDOT forward with the help of each one of us here today, Secretary Christy Hall. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This piece of legislation is really all about saving lives. That's what we're after at the end of the day is to save lives in our great state. And we're hopeful that with the passage of this new law that the governor is about to sign in uh, here today in Aiken, that it will help people think twice about what they're doing behind the wheel. It will also enable us to have more law enforcement out on the roads protect not only the DOT team, but our road building contractors, our utility companies, anybody that's doing work out on the side of the road is putting their life in the, on the line every single day. This took years and years and years and years and years to accomplish. This has been a five-year effort, and I see some folks in the audience today that played a key role in helping us get this passed today. I just want to say thank you to our friends with the Carolinas AGC. I want to say thank you to the Aiken delegation in particular for your leadership on this particular issue. Without you, we would not be here today, and there's no doubt in my mind about that. So thank you, delegation. Our main goal every day is to return our employees back home to their families. We also, as colleagues, are obligated and have a responsibility to honor the fallen and to remember their sacrifice. So while we pause today to recognize the families and their contributions to our great state and their the sacrifice that they had, we also recognize that they put their lives on the line every single day to make a difference for our citizens and our businesses. And we thank you for that. We thank you for sharing them with us. We all know that work zones are a temporary inconvenience to the average motorist. Our, our one ask is to be patient, to slow down, and pay attention. Let them work. Let them live. The life that you may save by doing that may be your own. It may not just be a highway worker. It could be your own life. Keep that in mind. At this point in time, I'd like to call on Representative Bill Hickson to come forward. He was our champion this year with this particular piece of legislation. And at this time, I'd like to ask Mr. Hickson to come forward and provide some comments. Thank you, Madam Secretary, Governor, uh, my delegation members, and other elected officials, and our DOT family. Uh, I, it's an honor to stand in here uh, with you today to talk about this bill. Um, the secretary approached me um, 
back in May and said, uh, I mean, back in uh, March and said, we want to do something to honor these families and all. Uh, and would you mind sponsoring a bill that would help our workers in the work zones? And, and I said, I would be glad to. I got every one of our delegation members at the time to sign on. Uh, never was a hesitation. I had a lot of other people to sign on. So, but what, what we wanted to accomplish is get something to protect our workers out on the highway. I, I see it every night as we travel back and forth from Columbia. Uh, it's dangerous out there. Um, what we wanted to do was save lives. And, and what this bill does, this work zone bill does, it is going to save lives. And I was so proud to be a part of it because of, of the special what, what happened here in our county. And, and we wanted to be here today, our delegation did, uh, to show everybody our appreciation, especially the families, and show all the DOT workers and show our contractors and all that we mean business in South Carolina. This law uh, is a new part of an offense. It's called endangering a highway worker. This is a serious offense if you're caught in one of these work zones endangering a highway worker. There will be substantial penalties and we want to make it crystal clear that South Carolina takes this issue very serious. We want to protect our workers in South Carolina. So I'm honored to be here today, uh, and thank you very much uh, for allowing me to say a few words. I also would like to invite Senator Young to come forward to offer a few comments. Senator. Thank you, Secretary Hall. Um, Governor McMaster and uh, SCDOT family and staff that's present here today, thank you for the opportunity that we have as an Aiken County Legislative Delegation to be here. Um, as, as you know, Representative Hickson is here. We have Representative Ronnie Young with us, Representative Bill Taylor, Representative Bill Clyburn, and Representative Bart Blackwell. Senator Shane Massey and Senator Nikki Setzler could not be with us this afternoon, but they asked that I let you, everyone here know that they would be here if they could. They had work conflicts, um, but they were very instrumental in getting this legislation passed in the South Carolina Senate. As you know, we have tried to pass this bill for several years in the General Assembly. And today is a bittersweet day because we finally got it passed in 2017, but it happened this year because we had the tragic loss of life in Aiken County in March um, of, of this year. The family of Anthony Redmond and the family of Robert Clark, they are here today. And I want you to know that we would not be here today with this legislation for the governor to sign to protect the workers of this state if it wasn't for what happened in March of this year in Aiken County. Um, I wanted to tell you that this bill, what it will do is give law enforcement the tools to make sure that the workers of this state who work for the South Carolina Department of Transportation and others who are working in a work zone on the, in the roads of this state will be protected and that law enforcement will have the mechanism and the tools that they need to pursue those who break the law. One of the first jobs that I ever had um, was in high school and I continued it when I was in college and I worked for a road construction company. And I remember that the, here a local one here in Aiken, a private one here in Aiken, and I remember that the, the boss man said, safety is our number one priority. The same thing that's on this sign over here, safety first, live by it. And I remember that the guys that I worked with in that job were good, hardworking folks who cared about the job that they were doing, whether it was paving the road, whether it was putting in curb and gutter, whether it was building the catch basin, whatever it was that we were doing to try to improve the roads around Aiken County, they cared about their job but they all wanted to go home to their family. And this bill will make sure that more workers in this state can go home to their family at the end of the day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Senator. Uh, before we move forward, I wanted to recognize two of our other highway commissioners that were with us today. We have Commissioner John Hardy and Commissioner uh, Jean Branham with us in addition to our chairman. So thank you gentlemen for being here today. At this point in time, it is my honor to introduce Governor Henry McMaster to offer a few comments. Governor. Thank you, thank you Madam Secretary. 
Senator Young reminded me that I too worked for the highway department a long time ago, but uh, I was swinging a bush axe cutting the right of way for I-20. And of course there weren't any cars whizzing by then because we were in the woods going through um, Gilbert and all along. It was, it was quite, a, quite an experience. I learned a lot from that work. But standing here and seeing these men behind me with these orange and yellow vests remind me of another group of people who get up every morning and put on a vest. That's our law enforcement officers. And often when I get on and I'm up and I'm putting on a tie, I know somewhere there's a law officer putting on a bulletproof vest because he might have a bullet coming at him that day. He doesn't know it, but he might. And some of them do. And unfortunately, we lose some of them. Well, these men and women get up in the morning, they put on a different kind of vest. It's the ones you see here. They won't stop a bullet, but neither will they stop an automobile or stop a truck or any vehicle or anything falling off of them. A lot of times we underestimate and forget that we have a lot of people amongst us that not only work hard to make this state a greater place, it is a great place. We're going straight to the top. We're outrunning all the other states. That's the subject for a longer conversation, but things are getting better and better in our state. But we have people who go out there and work, and not only to make the state better in the ways a lot of us do, but also they're putting themselves at great risk. We can't stop all the bad things that are gonna happen because they've happened throughout the history of mankind and they will continue. And God works in mysterious ways and we often cannot fathom why things happen. But one thing that has happened as because of the tragedies that have fallen to these four families that are here today, as well as many others over time in South Carolina, is we've passed a new understanding, a new law of what we expect from our people. And that is to slow down and be careful when you're going through one of these work zones. Now we've had other laws that said similar things, but this one makes it more clear. And our being here today amidst this tragedy, which brought to fruition this new understanding, this new law, there are other laws, but this will take its place and may save lives. If it saves lives, then maybe that's a part of our understanding about why these tragedies happen. But as I say, we have great people. And I'll tell you, all the big companies that come by the governor's office and other places that want to expand or want to move to South Carolina, they talk about the great institutions that we have, the great port, the great universities, the technical colleges. Everyone tells me that they are here because of the great people of South Carolina. Everyone, that's what it gets, that's the critical difference. And those great people are reflected right here today, sitting on the front row who've lost their loved ones as well as the others behind, and those behind me. So this is a tragic moment, but it is also a moment of hope and determination people of South Carolina, and I remind everyone that on our great state seal, it says, while I breathe, I hope. And this is another example of that. So with that, Madam Secretary, let us sign this new understanding, this new law, and let's make it count. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. At this time, I'd like to invite the families to come up and join us as the Governor signs the, uh, the act. <laughs> 